YouTube, what's going on? It's Sans. Got a video here for you guys today. Uh, obviously, I'm sure that you guys can tell that I am a little bit sick, and I do apologize. Uh, wanted to upload a couple of videos before the weapons double XP kicked off over the weekend, and you know, due to this, due to this cold, I was unable to. Uh, so this is the first footage I've, I've really been able to to put together for you guys. Uh, so just wanted to wanted to apologize and uh, let you guys know that that I was thinking about you over the weekend while I was uh, <laughs> bedridden. Uh, so in any case, got uh, some hardcore kill confirmed for you guys here today. As you guys probably noticed, hopped into the middle of the match and, you know, started to do, uh, started started getting some pretty good, uh, you know, kill streaks going and, and some other stuff. So a little bit disappointed that I hopped into the middle because I really wish that I would have been able to, to play the entire round through. So got some uh, some tips for you guys today uh, while I will be doing this and also have some new stuff so let's go ahead and hop into the news real quick and uh, I wanted to touch on uh, as most of you PlayStation owners out there know uh, at least I, I I would assume that, that a lot of you know the PlayStation 4 is going to be announced here on February 20th so if you guys haven't heard about this or maybe if you're unclear as to what's going on with it uh, Sony released a video on their website and it's also on YouTube so I would recommend going going and checking it out and it, it pretty much basically shows you know the PlayStation buttons uh, of the controller so you know that can only lead one to assume and speculate that you know uh, the PlayStation 4 is is <laughs> going to be launched here pretty soon uh, it turns out that that the code name for it is Orbis and uh, and then right here just uh, this guy right here that I killed I could hear him shooting at me um, so I am using like that super crunch setting in the in the sounds uh, the sound setting or the audio options if you guys haven't seen my video on that, there is a link to it right here. Make sure that you guys go out and check that out because it actually has some tips on on improving your connection, also improving um, you know how enemies sound. So, so go ahead and take a look at that. that. That'll probably help you guys out a little bit with your gameplay. All right, so now back to the PlayStation 4. Again, code name is Orbis, and they are saying that it is going to have a new controller. Um, now, this new controller itself actually is going to be pretty much the same thing as having like. As, as what the DualShock is right now, but it is going to incorporate a touchpad somehow into it, and I don't know if the plan is to basically use, you know, what's on the the current like little PlayStation Vita or or what. But that's kind of that's kind of how it sounds. So the release date for this is going to be holiday 2013 for those of you in America and in Japan. Uh, they're saying that 2014 will be the release date for those of you in Europe, and I'm not sure what's happening with South America. Uh, or the rest of the world. So uh, we will we will definitely be looking at that, and I'll keep you guys posted on anything that I happen to come across covering that topic, and uh, and eager to see in any case. Um, and this dude, like, what are the odds that he's actually facing me? I think that's the first time that that I've ever camped on someone's tack insert, and they've actually been able to kill me. So that was that was kind of crazy, uh, right there. So now Grand Theft Auto was originally slated to release. Uh, spring of this year, and now they have a firm date out there of September 17th, at least for Xbox. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're if they're launching the same day for PlayStation, uh, but for Xbox, it's it's September 17th. I would assume it's the same for PlayStation. In any case, I was I was a little bit bummed at first because I I I'm so looking forward to this title. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is just one of those games that that I absolutely love and and, and get a kick out of. I think it's hilarious. Uh, so you know, on one side I'm, I'm disappointed, but on the other side I'm I'm happy to know at least that we have a finalized date for it, if nothing else. So you know, at least at least that. So one thing I'm wondering is I know that that obviously if you guys are watching this video, you guys are all Call of Duty fans, uh, you know, just like I am. But how many of you are actually you know excited about about Grand Theft Auto? Is that is that a title that you guys play? I guess I'm just kind of wondering how many of you strictly just play you know Call of Duty. Uh, and how many of you actually play a variety of different games? You know, I play Call of Duty, I play Battlefield, you know, I play Grand Theft Auto, obviously. Uh, I play I play a lot of a lot of different games, you know, Left 4 Dead as well. Um, so, so kind of wondering what, what the audience out there plays, and if you guys are excited about this Grand Theft Auto, you know, launch, or even Bioshock uh, that's going to be coming out here soon. Now, I have to admit, this is like, feel bad about even saying this, but I, I have not even played the original Bioshock. Which is almost like a travesty. It's like it's like having an in, like a Nintendo, like the original Nintendo, growing up on it, and then never playing Zelda. Is kind of what I feel like. So, so I think that I really need to go out there, get a copy of Bioshock, play play it through, play uh, play the second Bioshock, and then and then see see what the new one has has to offer. And and I am actually pretty excited about that one. It looks 
it looks insane. I mean, the graphics and, and the story and everything else look absolutely just sick. So, so definitely going to be picking that up, but I feel like I need to at least play the first and second Bioshock as well. All right, you guys, so this last portion, I want to uh, stress the importance of current, current events and why I would encourage everyone watching this video, whether you're nine years old and watching this or whether you're 50 years old and watching this, to really kind of uh, to pay attention to what's going on in, in, in the news. So Electronic Arts testified before uh, the Vice President regarding violence in video games and whether or not there was some sort of correlation between uh, you know, violent video games and mass shootings. And the United States government has allocated $10 million to conduct a study to, to see if there is some sort of a link. Now the reason why this is so important is because this will shape the video game landscape in the future. So what's happening right now is going to influence video games here you know, five years from now, possibly 10 years from now, or 20 years from now. So I would encourage all of you to really really pay attention. Grand Theft Auto was originally banned in Europe and uh, you know don't want to see that happen here. So so stay informed.